This lesson is entitled Ions, Atoms with a Charge. Atoms have equal number of protons and electrons. Here is lithium. The lithium has three protons shown in red and three electrons shown in blue. It is a neutral atom. It has no net charge. Electrons have a negative charge. Protons have a positive charge. And so they cancel each other completely. All atoms are neutral. Atoms become ions when they gain or lose electrons. Shown here, metals always lose electrons. Nonmetals always gain electrons. A stable octet. Atoms are their happiest, or most stable, when they have full outer shells. The first shell holds two electrons, you can see here. The first shell can hold a maximum of two. And all subsequent shells can hold a maximum of eight. That's an oversimplification, but that's what we're going to go with for now. All subsequent shells hold eight. We're going to use the lithium atom to represent the metals. Um, this is an atom of lithium, and it's unhappy. Why is it unhappy? Well, it, its first shell has the two, but its second shell has one and that's a long ways from eight. How does lithium become happy? Well, if it loses this electron, then its outermost shell has two, and the first shell only holds two, so it's full. It's no longer an atom, though. Now it has a charge. It has a plus one charge. It is called the lithium ion. It has a plus one charge. All metals form positive ions. You see, if we add them back together, plus one and minus one, we would be back to our neutral element if we put that electron back on. So in review, why did lithium lose an electron? It lost an electron so that its first shell was full. That's called a stable duet, or having two electrons in that first shell. Oxygen, we're going to use oxygen to represent our nonmetal. The oxygen is unhappy, his day is getting rained on. His outer shell has six. One, two, three, four, five, six electrons. A long ways from being happy. It needs two more electrons. If we add the two electrons here and here, we're going to add two negative one charges. The atom itself will take on a negative two charge, no longer called an atom, but called the oxygen ion. In general, families form the same ions. This first family, the alkali metals, form plus one ions. The second family, the alkaline earth metals, form plus two ions. Over here, the nonmetals in this general region, the halogens form negative ones. The oxygen family forms negative twos. Nitrogen forms negative threes. Some of the carbon family can gain or lose electrons. We'll talk about that later. But what's important here also is the noble gases don't form ions at all. This is a nitrogen atom. How many electrons will it gain or lose? Well, you can see the first shell here has two. That's good. But this second shell has one, two, three, four, five. It needs eight, so it's going to gain three more. There's the one, there's the other, and there's the last one. Now it would have all eight. What ion does it form? Well, by gaining three negative electrons, it's now not a nitrogen atom, but the nitrogen ion with a negative three charge. The noble gas family, family number 18. Uh, let's take a look at this helium atom. Helium has two protons and two electrons. It's a neutral atom. In fact, helium never forms an ion. It doesn't form an ion because it's already happy. It has its two electrons in the first shell that it needs. Neon, likewise. Neon has the two in the first shell, that's the pink shell. And the blue shell, if you see the numbers here, has all eight. Neon has 10 electrons, the perfect amount to have two in the first shell, eight in the second shell. It's happy from birth. It does not form ions either. Well, that's ions and atoms for you. Remember that metals tend to lose electrons to become happy, nonmetals gain electrons, and the noble gases are already happy. They do not form ions at all.